What's up guys, I'm James Pratt. I am an ultra marathon runner, an author, and the owner of Wild Hunt Conditioning. And today, we're gonna to be talking about Rocky Marciano, specifically his devastating overhand right, known as the Suzy Q Punch. Uh, Rocky was, first of all, the only heavyweight boxer in history to go his entire career undefeated. He had 43 knockouts, and uh, some of them were just insanely savage. And uh, in fact, this particular punch, the US military in 1957 tested and determined that it had the same amount of force as an armor piercing bullet on impact. So devastating weapon. <clears throat> and even cooler, my buddy, a UFC legend, Matt Brown, who has the second most knockouts in UFC history today is going to teach us exactly how to do this, including the technique, uh, how you want to use the technique, when you do want to use it, when you don't, uh, the positives, the secrets to it, and finally, an exercise that you can do to help build strength and power in this particular punch. So if you want to learn how to just flatline someone with a knockout punch, uh, there is literally no one better to learn it from than Matt Brown. So without further ado, here's Matt. All right, what's up, guys? This is the immortal Matt Brown coming to you from my garage gym in Columbus, Ohio. If you don't know who I am, I was a UFC fighter for 15 years and just retired recently. I had the most knockouts in welterweight division history, the second most in UFC history. So I know a couple things about knocking people out. And one of my favorite guys to watch that we're going to talk about today was Rocky Marciano. I'm going to show you what was known as the Suzy Q punch that Rocky Marciano kind of made famous. Um, I think it's probably more commonly known as a bolo punch these days, uh, but I'm going to show you how he did it. So the first step uh, that he used, or one of the first tactics that he utilized was keeping his weight over and more on his rear leg. He was uh, conventional, so it would be his right leg. This is a defensive tactic where it makes it harder for the guy to reach you and the guy has to overextend to kind of reach you. You've seen Dan Henderson do this a lot too. He's the only MMA fighter I could think of um, that really utilized this tactic. But keeping the weight on this leg is, for one, is a great defensive tactic. Like I said, it makes a, the guy have to extend a little bit more. Um, it does leave you open to more things over on this side. Um, just to be completely honest, like this, you know, one of the ways I got knocked out, right? Leaning over this way too much. Um, but it's a high risk, high reward type of thing. The second part of that that makes it really good, though, is this leg is always loaded and your weight is always shifted back a little bit so that when you throw the punch, your weight goes all the way forward and it's really a all or nothing type of punch. So when you're leaning back, imagine like you were throwing a medicine ball. Maybe I'll demonstrate with the medicine ball after. You have a medicine ball, like what would you do? You would load this leg, like you wouldn't do it from a straight stance and you wouldn't like kind of start forward. Like you would put your weight behind it, go back and then throw it forward. So it's the same thing. So we're back like this and this leg is loaded already versus coming here and then trying to telegraph it by loading it up. It's, oh, excuse me, it's already loaded up and then he drops all the way over into this left leg and comes down on it. The second part of that is how to bring the elbow up where you keep your elbow behind it because where some people, I mean, you could, you know, just throw it like this too. But where some people would make the mistake is landing more like this, right? And now the weak part is right here where your elbow is, right? So you have this movement right here, which takes away from the power going through the fist. So you throw it here. And that's why the Russians, when you see them throw this punch, they turn their knuckle over like so. And that keeps the elbow up and behind that punch. So you load into it and then wing all of the body weight into it. It makes for a crazy powerful punch. So again, all this weight is loaded. Um, and all the weight comes forward onto this other leg. Now, Rocky Marciano would crouch down even more. Again, with being boxing, like you could get away with that. If, if you're doing uh, MMA or kickboxing, that's obviously going to be a lot harder when you're talking about knees and and kicks. 
But when you're boxing, you know, he's kind of down like this, and he can kind of probe with this and just get, you know, make the guy think about something until and line that guy up until he's right there in his sights. And with this already loaded, he doesn't have to drop down to load all that power. He can just, boom, just bring it right over like so. Very, very powerful punch. So I'm going to demonstrate real quick on the medicine ball too. I think it's a great way to practice punching anyway, learning how to bring the power from your feet uh, to your hands. Um, there's some downsides to doing too, but I'll demonstrate it real quick. Hi, now I'm outside with the medicine ball here. How, how much weight is this? I think it's a 25 or a 35. It's a pretty good sized medicine ball. Uh, it doesn't really make sense to use a small, uh, light medicine ball for this. Because what we want to teach ourselves is how to get the weight from this leg into this ball, right? And get all the energy going that way. So when I do this, um, if I was going to practice for a bolo punch or a Suzy Q punch, you squat all the way down this leg, like you're almost like doing a single leg squat, keeping your elbow in. And then when you throw it, you're going to fall forward. So I'll back up a little bit so you can kind of see you go down. And then when you throw it, you actually fall forward. You don't normally, like if we were doing punches with a medicine ball, we would throw it and try to kind of keep form and keep our balance and everything. But with this one, it, it teach you to uh, sacrifice your body, throw everything forward. And it's actually one of my favorite ways to utilize a medicine ball, not really trying to be too technical with it. Um, and do it on both sides, teaching how to transfer the power from the floor to the fist so you can knock people out. Love it. Let's go. That was amazing. And if you guys want to see more content like this, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to uh, set up all sorts of specialized instructionals for all the stuff that we cover on my page. Um, boxing, fighting, running, lifting, uh, history, functional strength, all of that. So I'd be happy to make a lot more videos like this. Uh, like I said, you just got to let me know. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, go check out Matt's page too. All right, you guys.